April has been around for about over five years now. And this is my passion. This is my drive, my zeal. I love photography. It had been said since last year that I needed to get new photographs. I think they were just two done of me by the Ministry of the Presidency. And it was my husband who suggested that I speak to Aubrey because uh, we have both known Aubrey for uh, Aubrey about six years now, no? Four, five or six years, right? So I knew him in his, in his lifetime for a very long time. And um, I was always very impressed with how Aubrey went after the right shot. Regardless of the subject area or the place he might be, he was always going for the right one. And Aubrey may recall that I kept telling him, I said, Aubrey, going to portrait photography, two things. And also, you're the best person I've seen doing black and white photographs because you capture the range of shade and texture in a black and white photograph. Um, and I've always been behind him to improve his skills and get into that kind of photography. And I'm very happy that he's following his heart and, and building his own professionalism and his career by going into, while he continues to work, to, to become a truly professional portrait photographer. So I did my research on photographs of Guyana past first ladies. But there was one that really stood out, which was Viola Barnum. Actually, Aubrey and I were going through pho photographs of first ladies from the first first lady of Guyana, who was Doreen Chung. And uh, what we looked at was that it was a very static kind of pose. In those days, you know, you, the person sat there, faced the camera, smiled, looked serious, and it was always extremely formal. But what Mr. Aubrey has done is kind of make it fun. And that's why you see me laughing a lot, because I was getting my instructions as he went along and being very obedient. <laughs> and to make it something that was more modern and I, I guess showed a bit more movement. As a photographer, having the president request that you take photographs of his wife, It's something to really smile about. And it shows that you may think that people are not looking at you. You may think that people are not admiring your work, but truly they are. Aubrey told me, he said, I wanted to do, I want to do something business formal, I wanted to do so something formal, and I want to do something casual. So he says, it should be a dark thing, a dark suit, you know, navy blue black. So I went to my wardrobe and I found a dress and a jacket, which were black, um, made by Tahari, which I had bought overseas. And then I, I looked at a skirt I, I had recently gotten made, I think it was last year, which was a, a lovely batik uh, cotton, which I bought from Makeda. Um, and I had gotten it made by one of the seamstresses who sew for them. And she's done quite a few pieces of the fabric I've bought there. So um, Junet Stewart made my, um, my skirt and, my, um, and the top, right? So that, and that's some African fabric. I like the stuff Makeda uh, brings in because they're unique. There's not too much of it and you buy it according to the, the way Africans sell cloth, which is two meters, four meters or six meters, you know, and you can get as much or as little as you want from it. So I got that there and my the last thing was, a, as I said, a white top and some green jeans, which I, I obeyed the instructions of my photographer and he said casual and that is that. So after taking these photographs, I could have retouched them myself, but I decided to collaborate with another photographer, which happens to be 
my brother Ziggy. And at that time, I know that he was the person that could have retouched how I wanted to look. And he's Guyanese, so. <laughs> first of all, the first, the first thought came to mind was that, wow, um, this, is, this is good for Aubrey. Like, this is great. And the second thing was, like, I feel, I feel proud that he would, um, he would contact me. Of all, I mean, there's lots of people out there that can retouch photos, but um, he would know why he contacted me. But I, was, I, I felt honored and privileged in a way. And I immediately asked him to send me the raw images. Let me take a look at them. So when I got the images, I just checked the raw. I personally, the first thing I do is, is critique the image, even if I take it. But I critique the image looking for, you know, what may be minor flaws to adjust, fix, what can make it, you know, better. And, and yeah, I take some time doing that with each image. And then I mark, I would mark where and where needs to fix. It, it was pretty simple for me. Um, it's just the time. It takes time to do. It's a process, um, so it wasn't hard at all. Which one is your favorite? Ah, uh, there's like three or four of the. Fa They're all beautiful images. She is a beautiful lady, I must say. Um, yes, she is. Three or four. But three or four stood out to me that I even, you know, because sometimes I would I would put on my headphone and have some music playing to just flow and edit. And I find myself like three or four images, I was like last in the process of doing the edit to the point whereby, uh, yeah, I was, I was enjoying it so much. My encouragement for youths or someone who want to get into photography, if you love something, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So if you have a passion and a love for photography, I would encourage anyone to go after it. Ain't nothing gonna stop you once you focus. I think there was one he took when I wasn't even looking at him as a tea party. Was it last year or year before Aubrey? Two years before. And I was just talking, we were just sitting at the table and I was like this, listening. And the next thing I knew, Aubrey popped up with this photograph and he gave me a framed copy for, for his birthday. I, so I'll always remember Aubrey's birthday with that photograph, which my, my husband took and he hung it in his, off, his study. Well, I think I told Aubrey the ones I liked particularly. Um, uh, there's a, a formal one standing in my formal dress, a long skirt. But there's one I like particularly where he took me on a settee, just sitting, and my skirt is just spread out there. I really love that one because I, I like the way the colors come out from the skirt. You know, I'm just sitting in the corner of the settee, looking serious at in Aubrey, right? And, uh, <laughs> and the skirt is just there speaking for itself. Yeah. My makeup was done by Renia Chester. Uh, she knows I don't like a lot of um, compound and filler, you know. So I said, I said, just keep it as natural as possible. And she's done that. And, and once somebody can agree with me on how I want to look, I have no problems whatsoever. Here, that's me. <laughs> I just wash and blow dry. And then I comb it back whichever way. Oh, hairspray. A little bit of hairspray to keep it where it's supposed to be. Working with the first lady was amazing. Amazing. I didn't have any troubles. It's always fun working with Aubrey. Aubrey makes photography seems like seem like an, a very natural thing. Although he's very exacting in what he wants you to do, where he wants you to to, to angle your head, to look serious, laughing, whatever. But I, you know, what I, one of my sisters told me, she said, I can see you're very comfortable with this photographer. And I said, I am. 
because I, I in, in a sense, it's because I've known him for su such such a long time, but also because I had confidence in his product. You see, I think this is all about relationship. And to be successful in business, you must have good relationship with people. Some of my staff members, like the, the, there's one casual one, which she says, this is the best one. And I said, but you know, for a formal photograph, I have to be dressed a certain way and um, so on. But I've told Aubrey which ones I like, and they're basically all of them. My favorite photograph from the shoot. All? <laughs> <laughs> it would be fun, I think, for people to say, which one they think is the best. But um, for me, I have them in three different categories. So I would say, which is the best one in the business gear? Which is the one, best one in the formal? And which was the best one in the, in, the, in the casual? I think people might have entertainment if we do something like that. They might have fun, you know? And then I think they would say, well, here she is, looking, looking all proper and and well made up. <laughs> the level of photography I'm at right now, I don't plan to stay there. My aim is to keep growing, growing and growing and to become the best version of me.